Well, it looks like a pretty damn ordinary week in GTA Online as far as discounts go with only a couple on offer. But we'll forgive the Rockstar devs because they have had their hands full over the last few weeks. Here's what's actually worth buying in the GTA weekly update for Thursday 9th of February 2023. Hi and welcome back. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. So let's start with the properties. With Jimmy and Wendy, with a 35% discount on retro arcade purchases and upgrades. The arcade is a cracker of a facility. It's expensive to kit out, but it's a nice place to be. Plus, for fans of story mode, watching Jimmy actually putting in some work is pretty damn neat too. As a standalone business, the arcade is pretty ordinary, but, and it's a big but, it gives you access to the Diamond Casino heist which is worth millions, the ability to run drones from the bunker underneath, and an optional master control center. And that last one's a kicker. It allows you to monitor and manage all of your GTA Online businesses from a single location, which is a massive time saver and one of the best quality of life updates in the game. So if you've already got an arcade, it's time to max out the upgrades. And when I say upgrades, I mean upgrades to the facility, not the games, they're a waste. If you've not got an arcade, now's the time to take the plunge. On to vehicles and starting with the Peyote Gasser, which is normally 800 105 grand, but is on sale this week at 35% off, bringing it down to 523,250. The Peyote Gasser is a two-seater, rear-wheel drive, five-speed muscle car that tops out around 118 miles per hour or about 188 k's. This thing's pretty quick for what it is and it pulls reasonably hard too. The handling on the Peyote Gasser lets it down a fair bit, making it a bit of a challenge to drive on regular roads around the map. So, is it worth the money? Well, I mean, if you want one, then the discount will make it more attractive, but honestly, I'm not a massive fan. That said, grab it if you're keen on the older cars in the game. Jumping over to the Roosevelt Valor, which is normally 982,000, but is on sale this week at 35% off as well, bringing it down to 638.3. The Valor is a six-seater, rear-wheel drive, four-speed sports classic that tops out at about 98 miles an hour or about 157 k's. This thing's a bit sluggish and doesn't pull real hard. The handling on the Valor lets it down a fair bit, making it a, an interesting drive. Is it worth getting? I mean, it's not something I'd go out of my way for, but if you're a fan of the discount, it means it's a better time to buy. If you're not a fan though, yeah, I'd leave it alone. Flipping over to the Entity MT, which is normally 2,355,000, but is on sale this week at 25% off, bringing it down to 1,776,250. The MT is a two-seater, rear-wheel drive, six-speed super that tops out around 100. 31 miles an hour or about 210 k's. This thing is fast, like really fast, and it pulls reasonably hard too. The Entity MT handles like it's on rails, making it an absolutely brilliant drive. So is it worth the money? Absolutely. It is a great piece of kit and the discount makes it even more attractive. So grab it if you have the coin spare. Next up, weapons with the Gutenberg Sweeper, a machine gun that typically retails for 14.6, being completely free. So that's a zero dollars. This burns through ammo at about the rate you'd expect. Accuracy is a bit ordinary, but if you fire in short bursts, you'll be fine. You may need a bit of practice to master this one, but it's not too bad. Is it worth getting though? Absolutely. It's a solid weapon and it's free, so that means more money in your pocket. Before we head off, a quick technical update as well. It looks like the Rockstar devs and security team hasn't let up this week, with new patches coming thick and fast. The Rockstar launcher has been updated with improvements to launching offline, downloading and installing installing games, and launching games through the Steam and Epic stores. GTA Online has also had a few updates, not just the PC this time, but the console too, with the Dax and Johan cooldown skip glitch, the auto shop merge glitch, Doomsday Heist Skip Prep Glitch and the Kayo Perico Wall Breach Glitch all being patched. The Taxi God Mode Glitch was also patched, but there's already a workaround to that as well. Rockstar also had its investor earnings call earlier this week too, with some rare good news from that. Now, while the devs were devastated about the GTA 6 leak, it has not affected the planned release date. Looking at the projections, I'm still thinking early to mid-2024 as a release date, but that's only speculation. Finally, we're reserving judgment on the Broadway for now, but we'll come back after we've done a complete review. And that's it for this week's discounts. Check out the link top right for this week's GTA Online updates or the one down the bottom for a bit of a money guide. In the meantime, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.